All right, so we're not about to discuss the last lesson of this components of scientific method investigation, right? Or this components of scientific investigations, the last topic or the last. All right, so lesson three for the steps of scientific method is observation and inference. So again, the end of the lesson, you are expected to define observation and on friends, differentiate observation from inference or from accurate measurements. Test, write it on the separate sheet of paper. What is observation? Dancing, singing songs, playing basketball, or a statement using five senses. Just write your answer. Number two, what is inference? Just a guess, example of something, the same as an observation. A conclusion statement based on your observation and past experiences. Number three, which statement is an observation? Her hair is brown. Her hair is brown because she dyed it. Her hair has not been cut in two years. The house is empty because there are no lights on. What are the two types of observation? Example of something, quantitative and qualitative, personal and educational, a prediction about something. And which statement is an inference based on the picture? On this picture, the woman is running, the woman is in a hurry, that identifying the problem, the woman is carrying her things because her house is on fire. So write the answer of your choice, right? Looking back, in lesson two, we have learned the scientific ways of acquiring knowledge and solving problems and scientific investigation. Try to arrange chronologically the steps of scientific investigation. Scientific investigation, observing, and fitting are more, more are important skills that an experimental should have in order to have a good result in his her or her experiment. Observation, something you sense, taste, touch, smell, see, or hear. In France, is something you decide to think about the thing or you event you observe it. In observation, you are using your five senses. In inference, you are using your critical mind. All right. So there are two types of observations: the qualitative and the quantitative. Quality is a descriptive. These object these observations use subjective adjective. Sorry. To describe something, it is relating to characteristics, color, texture, smell, taste, sound, shape, or appearance that stands out. Example, the sugar is sweet, the water is hot, the pencil is long, the glass is full of water. So the, the, the italicized bold letter are example of the characteristic, the color, the texture, the taste, the sound, the shape, or let's say appearance. Well, the quantitative Quantity, numbers or numerical. This observation uses numbers to measure something in a quali quantitative way. For example, the sugar is sweet, qualitative. How, it, how will it become quantitative? There is one kilogram of sugar. The water is hot. How hot is it? The temperature of water is 70 degrees Celsius. The pencil is long. How long is that pencil? The pencil is 12 inches long. The glass is full of water. How much water is in the glass? The glass is filled with 15 ml of water. So take note, sweet, hot, long, full of water, one kilogram, 70 degrees Celsius, 12 inches long, 15 ml of water. So that makes quantitative different from qualitative observations, right? Take note of the numbers, take note of the description. There are some basic instruments we use in daily life to measure quantitatively. In science, we do use graduated cylinder to measure the volume of liquids or irregular solids also. We use ruler to find the length of an object so we can describe them quantitatively like in millimeter, inches, meter, and so on and so forth. Thermometer also being used to measure the temperature, how hot, how cold the, ob the, uh, the object is. Kitchen scale, or commonly known as the kilohan in the market, is used to measure the weight of an object, used to measure the mass, 
in kilogram and in gram. And we also have stopwatch, used to measure the length of time, how long and how, the minutes, the seconds, and the day. All right. So those are the instruments used to measure physical quantities in science to report quantitatively. All right. In this activity, identify observation and inference. So take note of the, so there's a boy, there's a goat, there's a tree, there's a boat, toy sailboat, stones, lake. So identify which observation and inference refer your answer from the picture on the previous slides. Write your answer in the separate sheet. So these are the observations and the inferences. So you have to group them them according to observation or inference, right? And a separate sheet of paper. Which are observation and which are inference? The boy is in the water. The water is cold. The goat is standing by the pond. The boy fell off the tree. The tree. The sailboat is owned by the boy, etc., etc. All right. So write it on the paper. Measurement direct. Direction give the accurate measurement, write it on a separate paper. What is the length of a line? Right, so what is it? Is it millimeters? You write down the answer. What is the temperature in degrees Celsius? What is the mass? And what is the volume of the water? Right, so write it there. Okay. But you will not write it on the slide, but you have to write it on a piece of paper. So column A with column B. Connect column A with column B, so you have to connect, so you have to copy all this on a piece of paper and connect a line, a device used to find length, which one? A device, all right? Device. So you have to copy this and write it on a piece of paper. Tell whether the following observations are qualitative or quantitative. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper, so you only have to choose. The patient complained of aches, aches and pains, aches and pains, sorry. So it's a qualitative or quantitative. The worm increased by two inches, so you have to choose. Write it on a piece of paper. Remember about observation, inference, about the difference between the qualitative and quantitative, and about measurement. Checking your understanding, write in a separate sheet of paper. Identify the observation in, in inference in a given scenario. This is the scenario. Your cell phone is ringing in the class. What would be your observation and what do you think is your inference? Observation using your five senses. Inference is your thought about what's happening, right? Take the post test. Choose the correct answer and write it on a separate sheet of paper. What is observation? So based from our lesson, so dancing, singing songs, singing song statement using five and oh, there's there are two singing songs, all right? What is in friends? Just a guess, the same as an observation, example of something, a conclusion statement based on your observation past experiences. Number three, which statement is an observation? Here, here is brown. Here, here is brown because she dyed it. Here, here has not been cut in two years. The house is empty because there are no lights on. Or what are the two types of observation? Example of something, personal and educational, quantitative and qualitative, a prediction about something. And number five, the last number, which statement is an inference based on the picture? The woman is running, the woman is in a hurry. Identifying the problem, the woman is carrying things because her house is on fire. 